All right, so what we got here is a very messed up, I believe it's a Boss snow plow. Now this truck belongs to a buddy of mine. This is his plow, this is not my stuff here. So I don't really know exactly what happened here, but this plow is basically broken completely off of this mount here. See this pin here? Well, for one thing, the whole plow is dropped down off of the mount. This pin's bent, this is bent, this is all wallered out here. The blades are broken, just about completely broken off of the hinge assembly here, and the hinge assembly is broken off of the mount. So yeah, this is gonna be a fun one. I also was just noticing here as I was looking at this, uh, he really needs some cutting edges on this. I'm gonna mention that to him, but that's not my deal here today. This cutting edge is worn out. It's starting to get into the mold board there a little bit. So he's probably gonna wanna address that issue here pretty quick too. So I guess kinda first thing first here, I need to get this ratchet strap off of here so I can set the blade down on the ground and kinda try to get this apart so we can get some room to start getting everything lined up and uh, put back together here. I really hope this plow doesn't just fall off of here when I take this ratchet strap off, but find out here in a second. Mangled thread of a pen still holding it on there. I do not want to get my feet under that. All right, now that we got this thing safely on the ground here. I think uh, we're gonna go ahead and get these two springs off of here. And then we're probably gonna have to cut this pin out and try to get this pin out. And then we should be able to pull these wings out and away from the mount, be able to get in here to work. All right, so we got that out of there. Now the next issue is because this pin is all bent, it's jammed in there, doesn't want to come out. Okay. Okay, so this is the one that's supposed to go on here. That welds in there like so. That one's easy enough. But the thing is, we're gonna have to make sure that this is all in line so that this the pin can drop back in when we're done. This is all bent and wallered out, so and there's broken off bolt, so we gotta do something with that. Alright, so I think a little heat and a little gentle persuasion, we're trying to get this guy straightened out.
Okay, so we're getting this thing back together here now. I got this one welded on. This one was here, but I figure the bottom of the blade probably takes more brunt. So I went ahead and put that there. And then here's what they gave me to make the missing hinge piece out of. But I'm really not too thrilled with that. It's the right inside diameter, but the outside diameter is way off. They just wanted me to scab a piece of metal in there to fill in the gap. I think I'm going to drive this pin back up to where I can get that out and uh, see if I can come up with something a little better for that. All right, so they went ahead and I sleeved the piece that they gave me in a piece of inch and three quarter DOM is right about the same outside diameter as these pieces so I think we can just go ahead and get that in there now and then weld that in. All right, so this is basically done here now. The, these, all these broken hinge pieces are all welded back on. All I got left to do is I gotta make a retaining plate that bolts his pin in and cut that off. I'd really like to fix that wallered out hole there. I might still do that yet, I'm not. They told me not to worry about it but it does kind of bug me. Maybe I'll fix it, maybe I won't. But I gotta see if I can get this bolt out. Uh, if not, I might just make this retainer a little bit longer, redrill a new hole, bolt it in there. But we're gonna try the old, uh, well, the nut on trick, see what that does. All right, so we got this hold down fabricated. Should just be able to drop this on here. Bolt it down, weld it to the pin, and then we will cut the rest of the pin off.
pipes here just to make sure everything's working like it should. Looks good.